Fats. This is the Fat Man atomic bomb, it is a large, heavy plutonium imploded using shaped charges as shown in the animations. While a little boy has a less heavy uranium weapon triggered in a shotgun or gun type designs. The little boy has a length of 10 feet or 3 meters with a diameter of 28 inches 71 centimeters. While the fat man has a length of 10 feet or 3.3 meters, but a much larger diameter of 60 inches or 1.5 meters. Comparing this to a person will help you understand its size. Oppenheimer Trinity test marked the inception of the implosion design plutonium, eventually leading to the detonation of the fat man atomic weapon. The outer charge explodes inward, followed by the inner ring of explosives creating a concave shockwave. It moves this pusher here, breaking the barren plastic sphere. The shockwaves continue toward the uranium-238, it travels further compressing the plutonium sphere and compressing it more. Interestingly, this was James Tuck idea. A British physicist who suggested employing shaped charges as three-dimensional explosive lenses. But it was further developed and perfected by von Neumann. Hungarian-American mathematician, physicist, and computer scientist. Enough history lessons, let's dive into the basic engineering behind a nuclear weapon. These are the three electric gun primers. The primer is the device responsible for initiating the propellant combustion located here, also known as the chordate or conventional charge, that will push this projectile at an explosive force. Moving ahead, this is the projectile tungsten carbide disc. And the most important part is the uranium-235 hollow projectile rings. It weighs around 84 pounds or 38.4 kilograms. While at the front is the uranium target rings that weigh around 56.2 pounds or 25.6 kilograms. That is around 145.5 pounds or 65.5 kilograms of uranium. Closely note, as it is very important to understand, the projectile ring slugs are hollowed and designed for the target rings to enter. 